Hey gang, it's David again and back to you with yet another Adobe XD tutorial and in this one we are going to create some artboards and we are going to learn the artboard tool. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. In here I got quite a lot of uh, different artboards that uh, are supposed to kind of like mimic or resemble an experience on a specific device. So the bigger ones are like artboards for my like desktop designs, desktop views, and the smaller ones are basically for like for mobile phones. And this what this is what's uh, what artboards, well at least in a web design scenario, are best used for to simply mimic an experience on a specific uh, device. So the artboard tool sits right here and it has a default shortcut of the letter A. So when you click on it, when you make it active, you can see that your um, properties inspector changes and what you get here is quite a lot of uh, different uh, artboard presets and they are like divided into sections. And so you got the mobile presets, then you got the tablet, you got the web desktop, but also you have like social media because you know in XD you can also create like posts or like you know, uh, graphic uh, assets for your like Instagram stories or Instagram posts, Twitter posts, Facebook posts. If you're into into those things or even YouTube video, which I am more into, or like you know for for watches. So with these guys, you can quickly. I mean, when you click on one, you can see that you're going to click. You're going to create a uh, a an artboard that uh, whose name basically corresponds with that a preset that you just uh, chose and if you just remove that and then with the artboard tool simply click anywhere on your artboard you can see that you're going to create an artboard that was like previously uh, used but of course you can simply change uh, the name of your artboard it doesn't have to be like iphone 13 12 pro max all those things you can simply just double click in here and change uh, this name which also is uh, you know is possible from your layers panel and uh, in here you can also double just double click and uh, change the name as your i don't know like mobile experience or something like that but um, you know normally you would name your artboards like based on your like design uh, requirements so let's say that this could be like uh, mobile home or something like that. Let's say that this is our home page uh, when uh, when being previewed on a mobile a mobile device. Another way of creating an artboard would be by like duplicating an artboard. So to do that, you can simply just select your artboard and then go to the edit menu and simply choose duplicate, which is a handy shortcut of Control plus D. Um, of course, on a Mac you would use the Command plus D command, and uh, there we go. You got your artboard popping uh, right in. Now another way to create your uh, artboard and well to duplicate it would be by simply clicking and dragging and then holding down the alt key or option if you're on a Mac and like that you're going to create an, an artboard like this. Now what's important to understand is that when you have an artboard and you have some like you know, assets on it uh, if you just grab one of them and start moving it away, you can see that right now that like, part of this image is kind of like being like, well, it's kind of fading. And when I let go of the mouse and then off click, you can see that uh, right now our artboard is uh, well, working kind of like a clipping mask. So only what's basically visible within your artboard is going to be eventually like, you know, printed or, or saved. And uh, if I just move this guy all the way up here, you can see that now it's actually been you know, displayed in full. And now, you know, it's basically like, like your doodle or something. It's not within your artboard, so it won't get printed, won't get saved with your artboard when you want to save it, like, you know, as an you know, JPEG, PNG, PDF, uh, or anything like that. So that's just, you know, that's just something to, to, rem to remember, that anything and everything that is within your artboard, that's going to be, like, ultimately visible. If something is out of your artboard, that's not going to be visible. Another important aspect about uh, handling your artboards is like selecting them. I mean, when they are empty, so let's say I'm just going to click and drag to create an artboard like this. When they are empty, you can easily select it with the select tool and, you know, you can move it around uh, freely. 
But if you already have some elements within your artboard, if you just try to you know, select it and then move it around, well, that's, that's not possible. You have to click on its name and then simply drag it around and you know, like reposition it, put it wherever you want it to go. And by the way, of course, you can also create, uh, I'm pretty sure that you've already noticed, an artboard uh, that, you know, that, that has like a custom um, width and height simply by, by clicking and dragging. And you can um, then in the properties inspector, you can either like, you know, set its, uh, well, set like a specific width and height. You can set a specific position for your artboard, but you can also rotate it and you can you know, like make it like look like it's it's a portrait. You can set it in a portrait or, or orientation or in a landscape or uh, orientation simply by clicking on these little icons right here. So if you don't need an artboard anymore, the easiest way to remove it would be simply first you know, by selecting it and then just pressing the delete or the backspace key on your keyboard. Uh, alternatively, you can simply right click uh, on this guy and choose delete or from the uh, from the layers panel you can basically do the same so right click and then choose uh, delete so there you go this is basically how you can use uh, artboards here inside adobe xd and uh, you know how you can use the artboards uh, tool uh, in xd so just remember that with the tool you can create your artboard either by using one of the presets or simply by clicking or clicking and dragging anywhere within your document and remember that everything that is within your artboard is going to get printed. Everything that is like out of your artboard is not going to get printed. This is, this is pretty important to understand. And uh, once you do that, you know, working with artboards will be a breeze to you. So that's all for this video. Definitely comment, like, subscribe, share, and do whatever you want to do with this video. Uh, you know, and until next time, have a nice design.